What is happening everybody? I am Gaff the Master 94 back again with another Half-Life 2 beta mod playthrough. This time around I'm playing Vertigo. Now unfortunately this mod was released before this Steam Pipe update got uh, released so that's why there's no background map and the title doesn't exist. Now Vertigo was supposed to be a chapter that happens after the weather control and after we do that we board a plane of some description and that's what this scene is right here. Ah, oh, that's not good. Ouch. So all I can say to that, just ouch. So, that's what was supposed to happen there. It was on a plane, and, well, the plane gets shot down over City 17, and now we have to work our way down by going through the citadel. And as you can see here, there's some, uh... They kind of almost done themselves over right there, to be honest. But, uh, what we're supposed to do is just drop down here. And as you can see, we get uh, a gun. Now, this is not your typical, um, typical weapon. This is actually the, uh... Is this not your typical gun from Half-Life 2? As you may have know known it, at least. But this is actually the OICW, as it said right there. And um, I'm guessing this was included in the game through like, changing the submachine gun. Because uh, from, what I from what I know sorry, about the um, OICW was that it was supposed to have a scope to it. Which is what the white trigger would do. It would basically just like do a, a scoping in, but... Seems that it's only going to do the grenade option, and that was something that was supposed to be included in the game was the ability to toggle between the um, grenade and the scope if you so wish to. As you see, this is where the last guy is camping behind the corner. Don't worry, I did see you there, mate. So now we just got to work our way through the skyscraper and down to the lower levels. Now, I have played this mod before just so I have an idea of what to do so that's the reason why I'm actually kind of playing this now so as you can see this is the um, city 17 right here as you can see there's a uh, buildings and all that it's skyscrapers so this is supposed to be quite different than the sort of low t the low height buildings that you see in half-life 2 as you can see as well this is where bits of the plane have actually crashed into this skyscraper and there's like the body of the plane right here um, so we somehow got flung guys and down into this hole and all the way down there which is where we started up but we've got to work our way further down without falling to our deaths so that was the gist of this chapter and there's also a second variation of this called shit that was really close yeah when you play this you kind of see that coming to be honest and um i think initially in like the half-life 2 beta that was done with funk doors and that was pretty impressive for the time but this is like done with fizz boxes instead so that's kind of what valve probably would have done with this but as i was gonna say there's actually a second variation to this skyscraper chapter called palace and i do think i will be playing palace at some point don't know if it'll be in a mod format or from the Half-Life 2 beta itself. I was afraid that was going to happen. Basically, that means we have to do that all over again. Because um, I fell on a bit of uh, geometry that fell. So, thankfully, it's nothing too bad. So we just ju jump up onto these railings here, these handrails, and work our way around. Now, one thing you'll notice as well. I don't know if you would notice this, but I certainly notice it. It's a bit dark. Now, that's something that was supposed to be like a trait of Half-Life 2 initially, was that it's supposed to be a lot darker, a lot grittier, compared to what we got from retail. So, for me, on my monitor right now, I mean, just looking here, it's pretty much almost black. Just looking at that wall just then. 
Now, to you, it's probably not that bad. But to me, it most definitely is that bad. Oh, shit. No. No. Oh, God. I, 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 I walked right into that. I didn't even see it, man. Clever placement. Clever placement of the barnacle and head crabs right there to really mess you up. But, yeah, that's... That's that blindness on my behalf, that is. Ah, oh, look at that. Poor head crab. And... That sounded like it hurt. But don't worry, we, we avenged your head crab. It's not the end of the world for you. What the hell? There's more, there's more of them. Got them. Lovely. Okay, so now we go down this way, which is where the level transition is, of course. So, as you can see, now we can work our way further down, and as you can see, we're a bit higher up, but still we got to work our way down. So, this iteration was supposed to be like a big plane that crashes into the skyscraper. That's why this much damage was done to the skyscraper. I'm pretty sure it was the plane that was supposed to do like 100% of this damage that you're seeing. But it was probably like combine bombings as well that probably would have dealt uh, some of this damage as well. So we're just supposed to work our way down. Again, I can barely see them, so I'm supposed to try and take them out when I can barely see them to begin with. But um, again, since I've played this before, I kind of understand what it is that we need to do. We just need to work our way down, uh, of course, to try and take these bastards out. Um, we can just work our way down and take them out in the process. So, you have to go up to go down. But anyway, anyway, we have to keep going. So, what we're supposed to do, as might have been uh, alluded to by one of the guys in the beginning on the plane, was that we're supposed to work our way down to street level to participate in the street war that's going on because you know we have destroyed the air exchange at this point which again at this moment in time I've not played air exchange we're supposed to do something like the weather control weather control was scrapped pretty early on in Half-Life 2's development and we're supposed to now get through Palace or Vertigo in this case to uh, you know carry on towards the street levels where we would uh, help civilians fight the Combine. Now I think there is a small sample of that which is going to be coming up. As you can see that's a nice little that's a nice little addition. I did the Zombine in from Half-Life 2 Episode 1 forward slash Half-Life 2 Episode 2 into this uh, little mod here to say yeah you know maybe the Combine soldiers can get taken over by by the head crabs here, so that's a nice little touch. Now I'm pretty sure in the Half-Life 2 beta files, this little transition here doesn't exist, but this this part in the next level, which we're going into right now, does exist. So it's a little on the weird side. It's like they made this bit in one map, but didn't include it in the previous map. So. It indicates the fact that this was pretty much scrapped very early on, probably in like 2001 or something. They got with the Vertigo and was working on the palace situation of Skyscraper. And as you can see, this is another key bit of this uh, chapter is that we're supposed to ride this window washer platform down, down the Skyscraper even more to crash through the window here. And, um... Yeah, we're stuck up here, but we can crash into the water below and get out this way. So, it's it's a absolutely nice feature, I must admit. Whoever did this basically replaced the submachine gun with the OICW and even, you know, animations for the, the combine soldiers and all that has been replaced with, um, you know, the OICW. So, that's pretty cool, to be honest. So... Yeah, this is the staircase we're supposed to use, but um, just to show you what you would see otherwise is you would see this, a collapsed staircase, and we're supposed to get up to the top level on this side. 
And to do that, we need to go up the staircase on this side. Now, I do believe there's a way you can go outside to where like the windows are and all that. So you can go outside of this bit here and, you know, go outside. But I don't think there's any reason to do that because there's nothing out there. It doesn't help you out any. So maybe it's just there for details sake to say, yeah, you can just pop out on the side of the skyscraper if you want to. But doesn't serve you any good whatsoever so you're supposed to go up here and as you can see there's this bit over here and um hey fast head crabs no so if I'm if I'm ever gonna play vertigo in the half-life 2 beta then one thing I should say is that that bit doesn't work because it uses a multi-manager and that's an obsolete entity and this bit you can't get through because the player dimensions must have changed so you can't actually fit through that gap like you're supposed to just there um, and in some iterations of this map this you know falling ceiling architecture doesn't exist so it's a bit weird to be honest but um, that shows you the level of iterations that would have existed with something like this so one thing we can do is turn these valves to stop the steam from coming out. Because the steam hurts you. Whoa, head crabs, more of them. This place is infested with head crabs, man. Yeah, just batters up, man. I'll just 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 wait for them to charge into you and you just blast them. With a crowbar blow. Oh no, not another one of these guys. Okay, he's dead. Lovely. Another zombine, if you will. So, there's nothing down this way. Um, we're supposed to head down this way because I think one funny thing as well from the Half Life 2 beta files, if you ever look into them, is that there's like wooden sofas and wooden computers and all that. So, all of this stuff you're seeing here is just made out of like one single um, like wood texture. Looks pretty weird. Wooden computers. It's pretty funny actually, if I ever play that you'll see it in action, but um, it's a shame it's not really complete because obviously some of the transitions don't work and all that and it's just a little bit of a shame. But anyway, this was scrapped after all for um, this, for Palace, sorry, and even then Palace was removed for, uh, you know, because for whatever reason Valve decided to get rid of um, the four day structure of their original storyline and instead of the four days you have three days so three days in retail but it was supposed to be four days and in the four days you had stuff like the Borealis and um, you know Air Exchange, Palace and all that weather control or whatever to deal with and for whatever reason it was ultimately scrapped from the game so it's a shame but it is what it is at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. But it's good that we're able to play something like this now. Whoa! Stupid pricks, you mind not doing that? God, ambushing me by blowing the bloody doors off. Jesus. Right. Well, we survived, that's all that matters. And what's this? Pedestrian exit access, lovely. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to head down to to these parts. Okay, nothing there. No jump scare barnacles or head crabs this time around. And um Yeah, I got those like barricaded off for some reason. Whoa. Just combine guy camping inside this little uh, elevator while he's here. So I think we are not supposed to go outside any of these areas, as you can see the door is just a solid texture, so that indicates that it's one that you can't open. But uh, I think we're supposed to go in this elevator shaft and work our way down. Well, the elevator doesn't actually move, it just fades the level out and then presumably we fade back in further down. Oh, here we go. Nice. Again, another solid texture door indicating we're not supposed to go out there. Oh, this says shotgun on the, the bench. 
Who leaves a shotgun and extra ammo on a bench? Oh well, it is Half-Life 2. Strider. Uh, and that's a tank as well. But I don't think the tank actually does anything, to be honest. It's just... Um... Oh yeah, it's just there. So it's supposed to take on the Strider. But then it actually doesn't. Oh no, the tank got blew, blown up. It's not good. And uh, as you begin to notice right there, the... Um... The strider begins targeting us. That's not good. Oh dear. Whoa. Ask you, I'm not doing that. Sorry, mate, but you were trying to kill me, and that's a capital offence in my books, so. You are not going to survive that, let me tell you. Now, as you can hear, there is a man hacks as well. So I believe the whole purpose of this. So I think the whole purpose of this area is that um, it's supposed to be like a fast paced high action area where you get zombies breaking down, down the doors and then man hacks come in as well. You know, it's supposed to be quite hectic and um, as you can probably tell here, um, there's still some, you know, action going on and again as you can see there's more people and a strider here. Another tank there, look. So, whoa. Over there. It's one of those claw bomb guys, I guess. Right, got him. Right, now there's more guys over here. So, we're supposed to head down this way. And guys over here. So now we're basically at street level. I should have commented on this already, but now we're at street level, and um, or almost street level. But we're still a bit too high to work our way down to help the civilians out. So now we gotta work our way through these sort of windy, brick sort of uh, corridors. Now, one thing I would love to say about this section in particular is that this transition. Oh god, that kind of made me jump, and I actually kind of saw that coming too. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now what I was going to say was one of the funny things is that one of these transitions, it kind of reminds me of missing information with its rooftops level. This transition kind of reminds me a lot of it. But unfortunately that's Vertigo. I, I know it's over already. It's actually brilliant but unfortunately that's it. H Gunt, you did a great job with uh, this mod. And there's also Mosquito who did a Gas Mask Rebel Mask, well, yeah, and Check Death for the OICW, as I said, so that's, and that's supposed to be the old Half-Life Project Beta website, so I don't think that would work, but I think something like Half-Life 2 Project Beta if you want to go there, and as you see, we've been disconnected from the uh, game, which means that's over. So as you can see here, there wasn't that many levels. There's Skywalk, Verto 1, Verto 2, Vert Start, and the credits. So, unless credits is a Half-Life 2 Episode 2 map, in which case then there's only, well, not as many maps as you might think. So I'm going to stop this uh, video here. Now, I could go on for Vertigo for a lot longer than this, but maybe if I do a Half-Life 2 beta series, then I could go into detail about palace and vertigo and all that but uh, for the time being i'm going to be rounding off this video here thank you for watching my playthrough um have a great day and see you later for whatever i decide to do